The first step is to open cPanel and click File Manager. Double click public underscore HTML. Click Upload. Upload your license's zip file and wait until it reaches 100%. Then click on the Go Back link. Click Reload. Right click on the zip file. Click Extract. Click Extract Files. Click Close. Click Reload. Right click on the file of your license. Click Delete. Click Confirm. Right click Delevo underscore software underscore license dot PDF. Click Delete. Click Confirm. Right click readme.pdf. Click delete. Click confirm. Click to highlight delevo.cgi. Click permissions. Check the checkbox next to the execute row under the user column. Check the checkbox next to the execute row under the group column. Check the checkbox next to the execute row under the world column. Click change permissions. Click to highlight delevo.zip. Click permissions. Uncheck the checkboxes next to right row under the columns group and under the column word. Check the checkbox next to the execute row under the user column. Check the checkbox next to the execute row under the group column. Check the checkbox next to the execute row under the world column. Click change permissions. Click on the cPanel logo on top left side of your screen. Click MySQL Databases. Type a name for your database and click Create Database. Remember to write down the name of your database. Click Go Back. Scroll down until you see the Add New User section. Delete the populated username and type in a username of your choice. Remember to write IT down for future use. Type in a password of your choice. Remember to write IT down for future use. Retype the password. Click Create User. Click Go Back. Scroll down until you see the Add User to Database section. Select the user and the database you created from the corresponding drop-down menu and click Add. Click All Privileges. Click Make Changes. Reach the Delevo.cgi on your browser. For example if your domain name was midomain.com then you'd reach midomain.com slash delevo.cgi. You can install Delevo to any directory. Example, 3. Add your email address in admin email. In the MySQL hostname field leave localhost. Now it's time to use the codes you should have saved by now. Type in the database's name you created. Type in the username you created and the password you chose. Click Install. The installation has been completed. Use the information on that page to log in.